Hey folks, Dan Free here, the rate update. Today is March 25th, 2021. Had a bond auction today that didn't go quite as we thought, but rates didn't really change that much. So don't go away, we're gonna go over rates here in one minute. Okay, so what the market do today? Well, some numbers came out and they weren't bad. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna have some major numbers out. Now I might post a morning uh, alert just to let you guys know where things are going. Uh, but let's get on to the news today. The, the biggest factors that came in today was a seven year treasury auction. It went okay. Well, it went better than last month, which was good. However, it did have a, a reversal in mortgage rates. During the day, we had an ease in rates throughout the day. And then uh, basically around noon or so, uh, we took a turn to not to the so goods, and I'll explain that to you in a second. But we had gross domestic purchasing price index, which came in okay. It was the consensus was 2%, it came in at 1.9, 1, 1. which is good because that's pricing. Continuous job claims, well, you know, it, it was better than expected, um, but it's still not great. 3.8 million people uh, with jobless claims, continued jobless claims. What happened with the initial jobless claims? Well, there's a benchmark that they watch and it's 800,000 a month and we're at 680,000 a month initial jobless claims. Guys, that's a lot of people losing their jobs each month. That's all I gotta say about that part of it. Um, but tomorrow we're gonna have the per, uh, personal consumption expenditure. This is the biggest component that the Fed watches uh, to see if you know what they think about inflation. Consensus is it'll come in at 1.6. Hopefully it comes in lower than that at 1.5 or lower. That would give a breath of fresh air to all the markets, the stock markets and the bond markets. Uh, so let's get on to what happened today. This is why people watch my channel, basically to see what the mortgage rates did today and what my expectations are for the next couple days. So we follow this number right here. This is what's happening with the mortgage-backed securities market. Mortgage-backed security is a bond that trades on Wall Street that is the biggest component, the biggest factor, the biggest piece of the puzzle when it comes to mortgage rates. So let me explain this to you. How this works is when this number goes down, we hate down. We hate it. I don't know which finger to use. Hate it. Why? When the price goes down, mortgage rates go up. Anybody watch Trailer Park Boys? Do I look like bubbles? My kids make fun of me with my glasses. These are my reading glasses. So the price goes down, mortgage rates go up. So we hate when this number is red. When this number is green, it means prices go up and rates come down. So we like the green uh, in greenbacks and we like green in the bond market. Okay, so that's what's happening to the prices. But you're gonna see a trend here, and I, I follow the trends, and since right around here, which would have been the beginning of the year, we had a drop. And this is a substantial drop, people. This is about a half a percent increase in rates. Okay, in the last, we got one, two, three, four, five. Five out of seven days we're seeing green. I like it. Okay, I don't like how we ended the day. Let's go and see how we ended the day. This is a chart of what happened all day long. You can see at one point, we were up about 20 basis points. So you, you see over here, 103.06, we ended at 102.86. Okay, so that's 20 basis points down from where we are, where we re, from the top to the bottom. Okay, I don't like this trend. But you can see about noon is when everything kind of went bad. And then we had a recovery. Everybody's like, well, the bond market or the bond sales didn't go so bad. And then we, we deteriorated through the end of the day. And you can see here, this was a bad move right here. The red means there's more sellers than buyers. So it, normally it'll, it'll equate to a drop in prices, but then we ended the day on a green note. So I think profit taking or people came in and started bottom fishing. And when you end in a green note, that means there's more buyers than sellers. So I'm okay with a minus six for today, especially ending the day on a green candlestick, which my assumption is we should have a, a continued rally in the market. However, this number is gonna play a key role. What's going on with inflation? So that's the big buzzword out in the markets right now. Let's go on to rates. Now guys, remember, please, these are not my rates. This is a survey of rates throughout the entire country. We're going to focus right here. These are a little, I won't say deceptive. These are hard to read because these give you different rates 
at different costs or different points. This is how much you would have to pay to get that rate. So 0.42 is basically you take your loan amount, multiply it by 0.42%. That's what it would cost you to get these rates. And you can see they vary throughout. So I don't wanna go there. I wanna tell you, here's the raw pricing, meaning this is with no costs. Just to give you a, a little tidbit here, if you want to f a lower rate, you can pay fees to drive down that rate. Sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. So when you call us, if we say, oh, your rate's 3.3, ask don't feel ashamed at all to ask dan what's what would it cost me to get 3.2 or 3.1 or 3. we'd be more than happy to do that for you but right now i want to go over this is the national average from lenders surveyed throughout the entire country okay so you should be the rate you should be quoted should be in the range of this if it's if it's a lot higher be careful you might be getting gouged if it's a lot lower be skeptical skeptical because you might be paying a lot of fees to get that rate, okay? So let's go over it. 30-year uh, conventional loan or conforming loan, 3.31. Yesterday we were at 3.3, so it went down just a tad. 15-year, 2.78, it went down 0 0.01. When we, when we, you'll, you'll hear me every once in a while mention basis points. This, a 0 0.02, that means two basis points. 0 0.01 means one basis point, okay? So that's just, if you ever hear me say basis points. My FHA, or not my, the FHA and VA rates, we post our VA and FHA rates are the same. So I'm just gonna lump, lump that into one. The FHA and VA rate today is 2.84. Yesterday was 2.85, down 0 0.01. The jumbo stayed steady at 3.3. And the five-year arm is at 2.72. It's down one basis points from 2.73 yesterday. So what I'm trying to do too is just give you guys some ideas on, you know, a lot of people, many people know their rate, some don't. So let me help you there. Let's say, for example, here's a chart that, that from 2016 to now, what rates did. You can see here's where we are right now. So let's put a line across there, okay, right there. So all this time, your rate is higher. If you close during this duration of time, your rate is higher than what it is today. Okay, so why I'm, why I'm saying this is we have a forbearance. A lot of people are in forbearance right now and, and you know, have, might have an option to refinance. So if, you've, if you took out your loan, you took out your mortgage prior to 2000, uh, before 2019, you probably have a rate in the fours or five percents. If you're in a forbearance, I have a great video coming out next Tuesday to explain your exit strategy on those. So if you're in a forbearance, I highly suggest you call us and let us help you work kind of with an exit strategy or help you decide on what's the most prudent decision to do with a forbearance. So that is my rate update for today. I hope you like my videos. If you do, please, all I ask you to do is from Bubbles. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Click the bell so every time I post a video, you get an alert. But let me go through. I'm gonna show you how to find me on YouTube. Go to my channel. I'd love you for you to go to my channel that I have over 800 videos. But if you're looking to build, buy, refinance, uh, or you're thinking of consolidating some debt or do anything, please let us know. All I ask you to do is give us, give us at least a, a, a shot at this. So if you're already approved by another lender, send us what's called your loan estimate or your pre-approval. It should give us your loan amount and all the information about your loan, plus your rate, plus the fees and everything else. I'm gonna give you my email uh, address in a second for you to email that to me. But if you haven't started the process and you need our help, we have some caveat programs or niche programs for you, especially if you're building, there's probably about 20 states in the country where we can lock in your rate for up to one year. So if you're building a house, don't freak out because we can lock in your rate up to one year, okay? so. The nice thing about it is, and I posted that video this morning, is we can lock in, say, today for the next eight months. And during that time duration before we close, we get closer and closer and closer to your closing date. Once we get within 30 or 45 or 60 to 45 days of your closing, if rates are lower than where we have you locked, we'll do what's called a float down. We'll allow you to float down to the lower current market rate that we have at that time at no cost to you. If you're in a forbearance, please don't drive yourself crazy. Don't lose sleepless nights. Call us to help you with an exit strategy. The strategy might be kick the can down the road. 
The loan you have is great. It might be to refinance. It might There might be other options for you that we can uncover with you while you're on the phone with us. So here's how to get a hold of me and my team. The best way is if you would, check out, our, check out my channel. It's the Rate Update with Dan Frio. Right here, I have over 800 videos. I'd like if you'd help me get to 13,000 subscribers by the end of the month, that would be awesome. But go to my website, therateupdate.com. Scroll down to the bottom. Here's our 800 number. 844-775-5626. You can schedule an appointment via phone or Zoom for a 15, 30, or 60 minute consultation to go over any and all questions that you have. Or if you wanna apply online, you can do it several ways. Right here is our mobile app. This is a sweet mobile app. I have to say, this is one of the best mobile apps out there. And we're gonna have version two coming out within the next three to four months that'll blow the socks off at everybody. So if you're mobile savvy, do this. If you're on a desktop, I highly suggest you hit the apply now button here. These are two what we call funnels. If you're like, I really don't know what I wanna do. I'd like to buy a house, but there's some questions I have or concerns or whatever. Click here, do yourself a favor, click there. It's gonna ask you about 12 or 18 questions. Based on the answers to those questions, it helps me determine and be able to explain to you why this particular program is best for you. This is the same kind of uh, funnel, but for refinances. So if you're in a, you have a loan now and you're like, does it make sense to refinance? We're gonna go through here and make sure it makes sense to refinance. Otherwise there's no need to do it. So that is my video for today. Like I said, short, sweet, it is the rate update. Remember Tuesdays and Thursdays will be educational videos for you. So please make sure to subscribe down below, click the bell. So every time I post, you get an alert. God bless guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.